This video is brought to you by Skillshare. So today I'm gonna to tell you how to pack for a long distance flight. I've been traveling the world for four years. For those who don't know me, I am a travel vlogger and I've traveled to many places, you know, I've done trips from Europe to America, from Europe to Asia, and you know, all those flights are very, very long. And you know, today I'm gonna to tell you all the essentials that you should pack and you should wear on a long distance flight. I'm gonna start by telling you how to actually sleep on a plane and for that you would need some kind of eye mask like this one you know you can wear it during your flight and once you put this on i'm gonna assure you you're gonna be you know in another world you're gonna block all the light keep in mind you know some planes uh dim the lights a little bit at some points but then they you know they turn it on when they go and um you know ask you if you want some coffee or anything and you know those times where the lights come on you're probably gonna wake up so make sure to have that and also you should wear some earplugs that will completely block the sound you know from your surroundings and i would totally recommend you that if you're planning to sleep earplugs eye mask and some comfortable pillow neck pillow and you will be gone for the time that you want. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is food and drinks. The first thing that you have to know is bring your own bo water bottle. Why? Because water, it's so expensive in airports normally. You know, you can pay, I've paid five euros for a bottle like this. So you should definitely bring your own water bottle. And most airports actually have a place to refill. Keep in mind that during security, you'll have to have it empty. So drink it before going through security and then you can refill it at, you know, the airport fountains uh, if they have, which mostly they will have in their airports. So also about food, I like to go and have groceries, you know, bought before the flight. Why? Because I don't really like plain food. I feel like plain food and hospital food are some of the most horrible foods you can have so i would totally recommend you to buy some pre-made food on the grocery shop and it would actually be more it would actually be cheaper and it won't be you know that processed and uh that bad for you also i would totally recommend you to bring some you know some protein bars or some kind of snack so that all your cravings are fulfilled and you don't have to rely to, um, to the expensive um, bar, you know, of the, of the airplanes. And guys, the next thing I'm gonna tell you is bring a portable charger or some kind of power bank. In my case, I have uh, this right here, which is, it's actually kind of a gadget where you can, you know, it's kind of a selfie stick, a professional selfie stick, um, and it's by Power Vision. It's really good, and you know, apart from all the incredible things that it does, it's it has a lot of battery life. So it can hold up to four batteries. That means the phone will be charged as much as four times, and you can charge other devices with it. So definitely bring it. There's not a worse feeling than getting into an airport you know, of your destination and not having battery on your phone. I've had that many times. I remember in Los Angeles, I had this experience and I couldn't find any flags at all. So I didn't have battery and I couldn't, I didn't know how to even get to my, to my hotel. It was a disaster and I would totally recommend you to avoid that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna tell you is to bring a document bag. So you can bring a document bag like this with all your documents. You know, you can bring your passport, all the documents that you need to enter the country. In my case, I'm going to the US, so I need the ESTA. You know, in Thailand, I needed the Thailand pass. Uh, it was in the time where that was required. So you should definitely have all your documents uh, on a place so that whenever you need them and you are required to show them, you know exactly where they are and you don't have to search all the back, you know, uh, just to find that document. 
Now in terms of what kind of backpacks to wear, I wear my hand luggage and a bag that I can fit under my seat, a small bag. Um, this is meeting the requirements of the airline, so you definitely should check out what are the baggage requirements, but it's usually that type of bag as a, you know, under the seat and one like this that you can wear on your hand luggage. So sometimes you will have to pay for that hand luggage, but yeah, that, that's actually all that I pack normally for, even for long-term travel, you know? Um, you have to be wise and, you know, pack some cubes like this, like some organizing boxes and try to fit everything on that bag but I would totally recommend you to pack light and I will actually do a video, if I have posted it already, it will be right here, right here, about how to actually, you know, pack light. As for the entertainment, you shouldn't really rely on the entertainment provided by the airline. Actually, some airlines don't even have screens where you can see movies or, you know, any type of entertainment. I would totally recommend you to bring a book, <laughs> also, don't forget, you know, to bring, to download movies and music on your favorite streaming um, applications before the flight, so take some time for that. And I would totally recommend you to bring some form of papers to take some notes, because you can actually be very productive during the flight. I actually done the script of this very video in the flight from my home to this place that it's Oslo. I'm doing a layover here and I'm flying to the US. And during that flight, it was four hours, I could make the whole script and much more. So definitely bring that and, you know, bring your laptop, bring anything where you can work on and you can be productive. Actually, that brings us to today's sponsor and that is Skillshare. And it couldn't be a better time to talk to you about that because you can actually download courses there's thousands of courses you can improve something that you're you know passionate about or you can learn a new skill and they you know as I was saying before they are available for you to download and to watch during the flight I've done that you know in, the, in the, my last flights I've actually watched a video that is very relevant to what I was saying before because it's about how to make the perfect YouTube script and it's from this guy called Ben Rollins. He has been really, really helpful and helped, he has helped me um, write this script for you guys. You know, actually guys, for the first thousand people who follow my link on the description down below, you'll get, you know, one month for free of Skillshare. The next thing I'm gonna tell you about is clothes. What I wear for a flight is usually comfortable clothes. I normally wear a hoodie like this because it can get chilly. The AC sometimes in these planes is so, so high. So definitely bring some kind of cover. I wouldn't recommend you a blanket because this way, you know, you will be packing more stuff that you would need maybe and you may be wearing too much on your hand luggage. But definitely bring, you know, any kind of cover and um, also in terms of clothing for the place you are flying to, don't forget about the weather of, you know, your destination. You may have to go out of the plane directly on snow or on a very, very hot environment. So definitely bring, you know, the appropriate clothing. As I was saying before, I'm in Oslo right now. So for this part of the trip, I brought some gloves a hat and all that kind of stuff you know a jacket make sure to bring all of that just in case you you know you have to go face complicated weather conditions so guys those are the the tips that i can that i can think of for you to to have the best the most smooth flight experience on a long distance flight i hope it was useful I, as I was saying before, you know, I'm a travel blogger, so I made these kind of videos and I hope they're useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and, you know, uh, I'll see you in my next vlog. Make sure to subscribe, give a like and guys, yes, I will see you in the next adventure.